everyone! My name is Kendra and I am sister number six from Six Sister Stuff. So I'm currently a college student right now. I'm also planning a wedding and I'm trying to work full time. So between all these crazy things going on, I don't have a lot of time to come home and impress my new fiance by cooking a nice dinner. So I love using my slow cooker, but because today I have a little extra time, I'm gonna use my stock pot. And today we are making our mom's famous chili. We make it every year around Halloween time. We have it on Halloween night right before we go out trick-or-treating. It's been a family tradition for the longest time and all our family still comes over the night of Halloween just to eat my mom's chili. And so today we're sharing the secret recipe with you guys and so I hope you like it. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe or be sure to leave a comment about your favorite Halloween traditions. Okay, let's get started. So I have about a pound to a pound and a half of hamburger that I'm browning. Now if you notice my little device, it's called a chopster. I'll link it below because it's my favorite. Next I'm going to add one onion that I've diced up. Now my hamburger is cooked about halfway when I added my onions, so then I can cook my onions and my meat together. So while that's cooking, I'm going to start adding things to my stock pot. So I have two cans of diced tomatoes. Now I'm gonna add about a cup of celery, chopped celery, one can of kidney beans, one can of tomato sauce, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, about a fourth cup of ketchup. Next you're gonna add one tablespoon of sugar and then a dry packet of chili. Then you're gonna mix in a little bit of water and mix it together and put it right onto the stove top. Once your meat is done browning, go ahead and pour it into the stock pot. Now all you have to do is mix it really well, put the lid on and let it simmer on low to medium heat for about 20 to 30 minutes. The smell will fill up your whole entire house. It is so good. Now for my favorite part, the topping. So I love to add a little bit of cheese on top and a little bit of Fritos on top. Our mom always served it with her homemade breadsticks, but you can serve it with whatever you want. All right guys, don't forget, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet, and check out more of our videos. See you next time.